bitch. <laughs> Holy cow, it was just like two weeks ago that. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, this last week has been a really fun one for me. I've had a, a fairly large growth in the channel and uh, put out two new videos that I uh, really like. Number one was a video on how to make a dado. And I thought this would really kind of be a video that eh, not too many people would, be, would like, but it would be a great resource for some people if they're searching for it. Um, but boy was I wrong, this took off like wildfire. Apparently people wanted to know how to make a dado with hand tools. So uh, that video is um, growing faster than most any other video I've ever had. So thank you for that. The second video for the week was making this uh, votive holder. And I wanted to make something a little bit different. And so I literally went out to the firewood pile I got a piece of firewood and I brought it back in. I just started cutting it and playing with it. And the idea came to put a candle into it. And if there's a candle inside, you'd want to see the flame. So let's do some cutouts. And I do like this little heart motif. And then I thought, you know, if the flame is shooting out, it's going to be sending a picture out of the heart shape. Wouldn't it be cool if I could put words in the back that would then project onto the wall behind and say, I love you on the wall. And so it was just kind of one thing that led into another and uh, ended up making this for my wife. And I love it. This is, this is one of my all-time favorite projects. I had a blast making this. Uh, so I decided rather than doing a standard how-to video, I would do something that's a little more artistic and a little more fun. And uh, it's not something I'm going to be doing a lot, but I want to do it every now and then from time to time. It's just a good way to... Uh, to explain hand tools a little bit more about the, the passion that goes behind them and not just how to use it. So that's kind of what I did for this. Um, because it's not a how-to video, it's not doing um, quite as well as other videos, but that's kind of to be expected. It's not the, uh, the normal fare for this channel. So for this next week, I'm going to do uh, first a video on how to make a stopped dado. Uh, apparently people want to know how to make a dado, so let's show off the next step in making a stopped dado so it doesn't go all the way through the wood. Uh, how exactly do you do that with hand tools? Um, and that's really one of those points where hand tools kind of shine because it's very, very difficult to do that with power tools. So that'll be number one. Number two, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I have a couple projects that I'm thinking about making, uh, but I might do a tool restore video because I do have a pile of tools that need to be restored. Um, and speaking on that, this last week I had a very good time at um, uh, several of the estate sales. Uh, I picked up uh, a bunch of things, actually. I was really kind of surprised. I went to probably about uh, 13 different estate sales total over two days. Um, number one, I found this uh, Stanley um, Everlasting Chisel. Uh, I love these, and I've never actually had a chance to, to get one. Um, they're a very, very cool chisel and uh, one of my all-time favorites. And so this will be one that I will be using quite a bit here. Uh, also picked up this nice level that I did a, a quick restore job on. I didn't video this, um, but I've been wanting a, a Stan Late number zero. Um, so they're, they're two foot level. And this one is still in great condition, works perfectly, and I might be using it from time to time in the shop. Now, the other big thing I got this week was this monstrosity, um, which, uh, yeah, I see if I can get it all the way on the camera. Uh, Crosscut saw is really not in good shape. It's an old Diston, I'm guessing from the 40s um, by the medallion. It's missing several teeth, and it is very pitted. Uh, but I might end up actually sharpening this and reusing it, especially if I ever get into um, working with logs. So uh, if you want to see the restore on that, let me know. But uh, yeah, this is a fun one. And I picked this up for five bucks. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen them for less than like uh, 40 or 50 bucks. Um, so I was very happy with that. Also this week on Sunday, I will be at the Midwest Tool Collectors Association meet, um, a little uh, bit outside of Springfield, Illinois. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, I've got a, a few people that I've talked to who are going. And so if you are going, I'd love to meet you and say hi there. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what the Midwest Tool Collectors Association is, um, you can find the link in the description below. It is just a, a great place where you can learn about old tools. Um, you can buy and and talk to people who collect them and a fantastic opportunity to to dive more into the world of hand tools so definitely take a look at that and if you're anywhere near like i'm gonna be driving about five hours to get there so if you're anywhere near um come to the meet it is going to be so worth it some of you may have noticed um, I just passed 8,000 subscribers, which uh, <laughs> blows my mind. Uh, it isn't, I, 
yeah, I was hoping in my first year to maybe get 500, maybe a thousand. That would be awesome. But uh, wow, um, and it's looking like somewhere between Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, the channel will pass 10,000 subscribers, which is just incredible. So I'm kind of gearing up for that, and I want to do something big. Um, if you maybe if you followed me back when I had a thousand subscribers, I made a smoothing plane. And it was a, a huge success. People loved that, and it's still one of my best videos. So I'm thinking about doing something similar to that, but I want to make it even bigger. So I'm talking to uh, different companies and uh, seeing if we can get uh, other sponsors, sponsorships, particularly from hand tool companies, and uh, um, have, having them uh, give out tools on the the channel. So um, if you are uh, interested in uh, giving away at the 10,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, um, let me know. I'd love to hear about that. Also, if you know. Um, a, a company contact who might be interested in that. I'd uh, love to hear that. Some of you may have noticed the new intro. Um, I was playing with it in the last two videos and it's now standardized in this video. And uh, that has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time because the, the old intro was kind of annoying. And I really put it together before I turned this channel into anything that I was interested in. It was just kind of something to throw into the beginning of the video. Um, and so I was uh, talking with uh, Tim Sway, uh, who actually went and recorded the audio for that. He also recorded the audio uh, for the two videos from this last week. Um, so if uh, you like that, it's from Tim Sway, and he's actually starting to do uh, some recording. So if you had a channel, you're looking for particular music, um, he might be able to record for you. Also, the graphics in it. Uh, that was uh, a, a viewer of this channel came and contacted me, um, Aldo. He, he said, you know, I, I love what you do. I'd love to, to, to support you. Um, I don't have the money right now, but I can do graphics. And so he put this all together, and it just... Uh, wow, uh, you do some awesome work, man, and uh, I absolutely love what you do. So uh, if you want to see his uh, his stuff, I'll leave a link to his website in the description below. And uh, yeah, so a new, uh, new intro for the channel, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So if you like it, please let me know. Also, this week I hit the next goal on Patreon, which uh, <laughs> that, that blows me out of the water. Um, I was just... Wow, um, I, I can't explain how encouraging that is. It was just like two weeks ago that I hit the last goal. Um, so thank you for that. Um, but that goal actually provides something for everyone. So uh, from here on out in the shop reports, I'm going to be answering uh, one question uh, from viewers or uh, people who post them on Patreon. Uh, so this week is from Willem Kosen. Um, he is a, a very cool guy. Um, and uh, does some fun work woodworking. But he asked, uh, do you ever fill cracks or um, spaces in between joints with uh, sawdust and wood glue or with wood filler? Um, and in all honesty, no, I really don't. Um, every now and then with uh, like dovetails, if there's an ingrain, I will uh, fill an ingrain gap because that disappears fairly well. Uh, but most of the time, I actually leave the gaps. Um, I... I, one thing that I constantly am trying to push on myself is to be okay with imperfection. And so if you look at my projects up close, you're going to see all sorts of imperfections and gaps and spaces. Um, and I am okay with that because I want to be able to, I want to have the freedom to enjoy the work rather than fretting over all the tiny little things. So I usually don't fill the gaps. Um, and things like uh, wood glue, uh, using wood glue and sawdust, um, I find that those gaps often look like they're filled with wood glue and sawdust. And um, I've never been very happy with how those finish out. So, I no, I don't fill gaps very often. Um, and to be uh, perfectly honest, when I made um, this uh, box for my wife, um, I cut out the back. I only had enough wood to do the curly oak on three sides. And so the fourth side, I used a piece with uh, um, some interesting ray work. Um, and then I did all the fret saw uh, work for the lettering but I realized I put the lettering on there backwards. <laughs> and I had already dovetailed the thing. So I had to flip the dovetails around. And unfortunately, they didn't match up. One side, they were wider, so I could cut them smaller. And the other side, that meant that there were fairly large gaps. And by me, what I mean by fairly large gaps, I mean a good eighth of an inch gap on this dovetail. And I'm okay with that. It's imperfection, and that is fine. And that is one more thing just to remind me in the future that um, that's the way life works. And I'll try better, and I always try for perfection, but I'm never gonna quite hit perfection, so I don't fill those as much. 
Also for this week on the uh, the shout out for this week because uh, Willem, you uh, gave me this great question. I'm going to send you over to his channel. Uh, he does some really sweet stuff. Um, I, I'm always kind of given a, a good inspiration when I go over there. He made um, a couple tools for the uh, the hand tool giveaway this last summer, and I really love your work. So uh, go check out his channel, and I know it's something you're going to love. So that's about it for this week. I uh, had a lot of fun in the shop, and there are a lot of things going on, as you can tell. If you're going to the Midwest Tool Collectors Association meet, I would love to see you there and say hey. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit like and think about subscribing. Also, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.